Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share the new release for the July uh, limited edition rubber stamp set from Impression Obsession. So all of the stamps I'm getting ready to show you here are part of one um, set and that's available through the month of July 2022 um, on their website. I'll put links down below for you. Um, but I really love this. Um, the images of this set. They're kind of a vintage-y looking um, design. Um, and not, a, not necessarily a solid stamp, but they have a lot of detail uh, in the stamps. So here's a beautiful wreath. It's got ribbon um, in places around the wreath and, of course, a big bow at the top. So I really love this one. I'm going to be making a card with this one in this video. And then I love this one, too. It's a just an adorable little snow globe design. Uh, there's a little cabin in there and some trees. And then the sky looks, um, you know, kind of Aurora-like. So it's got some little etch, extra etchings in there. So that's a really cute little stamp as well. This stamp is beautiful. It has um, like a wood grain cut uh, vintage look to it. Um, and it's a little stocking with a big bow. And there's some presents. And it looks like a candy cane. And uh, yeah, just a really cute little stocking set. I'll put an image of the um, set uh, in the video here so that you can see all the designs in black as well. There's this cute little pine cone. I love this. This is going to be a cute little addition like to the back of cards or on small tags. A cute little embellishment there. And then here's an adorable little ginger and he looks like he's kind of wood grain cut as well. Um, and he's got frosting on his hands and his legs. And of course he has a little frosting face and buttons down his uh, belly and a little bow tie. So he's adorable. And then you can see how, how big he is there in my hand. Um, he measures... <clears throat> um, an inch and three quarters tall. So super cute little guy. Here's a um, cute little wood um, cut tree and there's like little ornaments down the front of it as well. And then there's this um, candy cane, also similar uh, design. And then there's this ornament. I love the ornament. I think this is going to be one of my next um, projects. It's got a cute little tie up here on the string, but it's just a really nice um vintage design. And there's three sentiments in this set and they all use a uh, vintage font. Um, this one is the to and from, oops, to and from, so it'd be great for tags. And then this one says happy holidays and this is in a nice um, kind of an old-fashioned uh, script font. And then this one is similar to the um, to and from. This one is a little bit of a vintage uh, font as well. Uh, have a joyous Christmas season is what that says. So I'll go ahead and insert the picture of the full set that's on the Impression Obsession website here so you can see it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a card um, using the wreath um, as my primary focus. I might incorporate some of these smaller images as well, but let me go ahead and get started um, making a card. So using my mini Misty, I'm gonna stamp the image several times on Arches 100% watercolor paper. I'm gonna be using Black Stays On ink, and um, the beauty of the mini Misty is that it allows you to stamp the image in the same exact same spot several times. So with the texture of this watercolor paper, I'll be able to get a really great impression by stamping the image uh, several, several times on the watercolor paper. Now that I have a really nice stamped image, I've adhered the watercolor panel down to a cutting board with some washi tape, and I'm going to be painting it with some um, earth tone colors that I've curated into a palette. I'm adding clear water to the entire surface of the watercolor paper, and what this is going to do is allow the pigments that I add to the outside edges of the paper to flow in really nice and smoothly towards the center of the wreath without leaving any hard edges. The first color that I'm going to add to the outside edges is Buff Titanium from Daniel Smith, and I just really love using this color. It's one of my favorite colors. Uh, it's very nice and subtle, um, and this just ages the watercolor paper ever so slightly. Um, the, the next color I'm adding is Naples Yellow, and this is just adding a little bit of warmth to those outside edges. And then uh, finally, I'm going to also be adding some Buff or some uh, Quin Gold as well, just in little spots here and there, uh, just to warm up the outside edges of this panel a little bit more.
So once I have my background painted the way that I like it, I am, use my heat tool to dry the entire surface panel of the watercolor paper so that I can move on to painting my wreath. I am adding uh, just plain water to the surface of the wreath, being careful not to go over the areas of the ribbon. Um, and then once I have the entire surface of the wreath um, with a light sheen of water on it, I'm just gonna start dropping in um, various colors of green watercolor paint. And I also do add a little bit of indigo blue to it as well, just to kind of darken it up and um, give it a little bit of a blue-green tone. So once I'm happy with the color of the wreath um, and the um, highlights and shadows, I again dry the entire surface of the watercolor paper and then I add some splatters of color of the uh, paints that I've used to color the image. So I use buff titanium, Naples yellow, and um, I mix the greens that I and the indigos that I used into another mixture and I do some splatters of uh, pigment uh, around my painted image. Next, I move on to painting the ribbon on the wreath, and I've chosen a really nice earthy red um, pigment to paint the ribbon. So I just go around and add a nice layer of uh, watercolor paint um, to each of the areas of the wreath, being careful um, not to completely fill in all the areas of the, the ribbon. I like to see some highlights um, along the outside edges. So you'll see um, as I paint, I don't have to do it very carefully. It's just pretty easy to um, keep those outside edges uh, white. So I just continue painting the ribbon and then I, once I have the first layer of paint down, I go back in and I add uh, a slightly darker layer of the same pigment uh, using the glazing technique to just kind of darken some of the areas of the ribbon.
and I decided I wanted to have some gold on my um, project as well. So I'm using this Kuretake set that has six different colors of gold in it. And I've chosen to use the color 901 on my project today. So I just um, re-wet a little bit of that pigment with my brush, add some of it to the edges of the ribbon where there might be some um, gold uh, stitching detail on that ribbon. And then I also add some gold splatter to the project as well. Now that I'm finished with my painting, let's reveal those beautiful white edges. This is such a satisfying process when you take off the tape and reveal those white edges and see that the pigments didn't scoot under the washi tape at all and uh, ruin your perfect edge. So, Next what I'm going to do is stamp one of the sentiments from the set on the front of my card. So I've placed my painted panel back into the misty, and I'm positioning the sentiment stamp so that it's going to stamp just perfectly, perfectly in line with the bottom of the painted edge on my watercolor panel. I'm using um, a black permanent ink to stamp the uh, sentiment, and I'm going to stamp that sentiment several times so that I get a really nice impression. Again, the misty tool um, is a perfect, uh, perfect tool for this process as it allows you to get just the exact uh, precise location of that sentiment stamped um, perfectly. So my watercolor panel is now complete and I think it looks really cool. I love the outside edges, how those warm yellows uh, look next to the white panel. I've gone ahead and chosen a really earthy green card base. I'm going to use some double-sided sticky tape to adhere the watercolor panel to my card base and my card will be complete. I hope you try this watercolor technique on some of your holiday cards this year. I really love how the outside edge of those warm yellows look against the nice crisp white edge of the watercolor panel. I'll put links below to the Impression Obsession website where you can find this stamp set for the month of July 2022. Thanks for watching!